shot me y'all on yours. Hi y'all, hi y'all, how are you? I know I'm late. I'm sorry that I was late, you guys. Um, is everybody here? Okay. Well, you guys, um, I don't have a lot of time. So, so first things first is that um, this is the 12 year anniversary of Beam Me Up Scotty Mixtape and a lot of you have been with me for so freaking long. Repping me, holding me down when I'm not around. Y'all be going hard for me. Love you to death. Um, so because this is the 12 year anniversary, we thought that we would do something special. Um, I have never ever in life put my mixtapes on streaming services. I, you know, a lot of people have done that and I've never done it. So what we're doing tonight is we are putting Be Me Up Scotty for the first time ever on streaming services. There might be like two or three songs that didn't make the cut for, for whatever reason. Um... But, but yeah, so for the most part, the whole, the whole tape is going to be on streaming services now for you guys. I wonder what's y'all, what was y'all favorite Beam Me Up Scotty song? Because I was real, I was recently listening to it and you know what I can't stop playing? I can't stop playing Envy and I can't stop playing Best I Ever Had and I can't stop playing Go Hard. Um, of course, Itty Bitty Piggy, uh, Slumber Party, um, Gia. So those are. Did you have a favorite? All of them are favorite. You can't pick one. Chat by. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, those were my favorite. I was listening to them le recently. Um. So, so shout out to. You know DJ Holiday. <clears throat> he he did my tape back then. Um. Shout out to Deb, uh, Gucci Man. The whole Atlanta that was repping me at that time. Thank you guys. Um, um, and and yeah, so a lot of people showed me love on that tape, which I'm very happy about. Of course, Dwayne Carter is on there. He showed me lots of love. Um, um, Drake, love you too, Def Drake. Thank you for showing me love on that. I don't know who else was on there, but anyway. So having said that, um, who so. So, because I, I knew if I would just re-release the mixtape without putting out anything new, I knew y'all would, like, you know, cuss me the fuck out. So, what I did was, I did a couple new joints for the mixtape. Um, so, it's, so, it's not, I know y'all was asking me, where's the cover art and this and that and this, number one, this ain't no TikTok shit. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no TikTok thing, you understand? So, I appreciate you guys for caring about that, but this is just to get back to the basics a little bit, um, to the essence of why I started rapping. Um, I started rapping because I love listening to people that that you know spit like I love punchlines that was always like my like my favorite thing and and always made people like my favorite artists because of that um so I'm sorry y'all that my nose is running um so we wanted to add a couple other things to get you guys um to get you guys excited about the re-release re of the mixtape. And so what I did was I added a couple joints. So um, I did a remix to Crocodile Teeth. And then I did a record called um, Fractions on an old J beat. And I did another song. This is actually on an original beat 
but um but it's you know in the freestyle vibe it's still you know free freestyle type type things so so that's all in preparation of you know of course i'm working on the album for you guys um hi ali berry <laughs> um i'm working for the album um i just i might have uh, uh, uh looked upon a couple new little little things for the album yesterday too so the album is coming soon the documentary is as well i'm really excited for you guys to see the documentary i know you're gonna love it hi beanie man i love you um but but no you guys i didn't want you to be thinking about this as some oh my god we gotta you know this is mickey's lead single no to answer your questions because i saw a lot of you guys asking that on twitter it's not um but it is very very important so a couple things hi ming lee okay hi courtney a couple things um papa bear is doing great i love papa bear yesterday papa bear said i mean two 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 days ago he said mama What's so funny? <laughs> he said, Mama. And I happened to be recording him. I was like, say it. And he kept on saying, Mama, Mama. And he was like yelling at me because I didn't realize he was saying it a bunch of times until I went back and played the the video. And I said, oh, I see why my little uh, baby was yelling at me because Mama wasn't hearing him saying Mama all them times. And yes, so he said, Mama. I might put that out because it's so cute. But then on the other hand, I, 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 on the other hand, it's, you know, it's, it's like my baby. And I don't know yet. I'm so overprotective. I'm, you know, I'm mama bear. Um, but, but, um, so, so those are the three joints. If you, if you are on my mailing list, I did a really dope little letter for you guys that you will get. You will get a letter from me. It's going over a few things that just went down in the last few months for me. Um, as always, I have to tell you guys that I fucking love you so much. Um, hi, Tamar. Um, because you always make me feel happy. Um, even when I stay away for a long time, you always make me feel happy. This little hiatus was really fun because I was, you know, in mommy mode, but also I went through like this crazy little writer's block for a second. And it, if you are an artist, no matter what you do, like you know how crazy it is when all of a sudden, like you can't really flex your art the way you used to. So I did go through a little bit of writer's block. And I was like, bam. And then all of a sudden, um, I got, you know what? I hit Drake and I asked him, I was like, yo, I'm doing this mixtape. Who got, who got the hottest shit out right now? Who should I jump on, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, here. So he sent me something. So that's one of the things that you will hear tonight. It's called cool, Seeing Green. Um, that was, Drake sent it to me and asked me to get on. Oh, it's, oh, you got the nerve to be on my live, Drake? You better call me right the fuck now. It's going down. The GOAT is on the motherfucking line. What's up, the GOAT? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Can you see my snot coming down? No, but you, let me give me some tissue. Y'all, yeah. my snot is coming down because right before I got on live, I got a really, a really beautiful surprise that I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you guys about it, but it was so sweet. I just couldn't stop crying. So after I did my makeup, I had to redo a little bit under my eyes and my nose because someone that I fucking love so much um sent me the most sentimental meaningful beautiful thing card and flowers and stuff like that but when i read the card i just 
I, it made me super, super emotional. But, um, so how can I call Champagne Poppy? Because he getting on this live. Y'all tell me how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Y'all know I'm dumb. You got to find his name. You got to find his name. Tell him to write something. Mm -hmm. He probably gonna hide now. He like, bitch, I ain't say all of that now. <laughs> Where he at? He gotta write something and then you hit his name. And they told me not to do it like this too, but I wasn't planning on adding anybody. Drake, type because I'm adding you. You can't run away. You've already shown yourself. And it's so it's moving, it's so many people that I can't even pinpoint it. And this, this happened, this always happened, child. Yeah, it's a lot. He's not even commenting on it. Mm -mm. Well, if I pause it and text, can I, um, will they still be there or will I take, come off of it? Now, they'll now, still be there if you pause it. Yeah. Can they wait for a second? Yeah, you want to do it? Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Let me sit back down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 they know what I'm doing, too. My fans ain't stupid. My fans know exactly what the fuck I did, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you get him? You guys, how did... He sent a request. Mind that, please. Hit here. And type his name. Champagne. Yeah, there we go. I'm out here. What's up? Where you at? In these streets. You're in other black class streets. I saw black, black class class streets. Yo, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Um, Nicki Minaj dropping music tonight. <laughs> no, I oh, you did? You got get. You got get hit, bro. Come on, man. What's up, man? So you know, so you know, great. Nicki Minaj dropping some new songs tonight. I didn't know that. You don't know that. You got. Yeah, you gotta get Excuse hip. Me, of course, sir. <laughs> of course, Excuse it's good. Excuse me, sir. You didn't know we're dropping music tonight. Oh, we, gotta get, we gotta get hip. Huh? Oh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, I'm, always I'm, motherfucking always in the motherfucking building. The I'm doing your... The motherfucking line. What up? Like, don't what nobody up? ever, ever come motherfucking... Y'all not seeing him. Y'all not playing with him. It's the motherfucking art, artist of the decade and all of that. What's really good? <laughs> Young fucking money. YMCMB. Oh, I like that. Hey. I like that. Damn. You know I like when you go off like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to get him some Queen Radio Vibes thing. So basically, since we only, it's like five more minutes left. Yeah. So I was telling them that you sent me this um, record called Seeing Green. That's right. What what made you think I would sound good on that? I mean, you know, it just it had been well, can I say who else is on it or no? It's a surprise. Okay, all right. Well then well I it's just been a really long time since since that, since that moment. Back. Yeah, it was just it was just it didn't feel right with you not being on it. That's really the best way I could put it. It was like it was fun the other way, but it, it's 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 epic this way, you know? So I just, we just, you know, I had some real heart to heart to you lately, like just about the fact that it's like, it's just your world. Nobody does this shit better than you. And it's like, when you're gone, you know, obviously Papa Bear's here now. So we are, you know, we, we understand the priorities, but you know, when you're gone, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm sure I speak for everybody in the live when it's like, yo, we really miss you. Like, we really miss your presence. And just like, we miss the bars. We miss the excitement that you bring. So it's like. 
you know, I just like I've been on you lately to just you know you know what time it is, and you know I'm coming over um this weekend too. So yeah, blood so clot get to life. work. Yeah, two blood clot life. No, I'm really this there. Man, <laughs> this man been saying he was coming to my house for the last two weeks, y'all. So no, now y'all gotta make sure he come over here. While I lied to him, I no, I swear I did this. He kept on lying, so I was like, yo, no, I'm cooking for you this time. I'm cooking steak, shrimp, and all of that. <laughs> And he still, he still stood me up. I no, I didn't stand you up. That's not you. Don't make me sound like that. All right, no. But listen, on the real shit, I am, I love you so much, Drake. Like, so just, so just let me tell y'all the real shit. I was going to say it, but I didn't want to say it too much. He single-handedly got me out of my writer's block. And I'm never going to forget it. And I'm going to shout it to the fucking world on the mountaintops because that's the real shit. That's my hand to God. He sent me something and it made me feel so competitive again. I was like, yo, what the fuck am I doing? Like, get, like, you need to start writing. And Facts. whenever I hear Drake and Wayne rap, it just is always going to inspire something in me. But outside of Drake's raps, it's his like pep talks. He'll, he'll send one text that'll make me really like reevaluate everything. He's a fucking genius. As a musical artist, but also just as a human, like please, everybody know that, like that's real shit, like that's, that's not very sweet. Um, and so I love you very much, you guys. You. It's about to the song is about to come out. I'm gonna try to go live tomorrow, y'all. I'm not in get a lot of time because somebody came extra late. I'm not gonna say no names, pay, but he played his fucking what? stupid ass fucking song, as always. But you guys, go and listen to Seeing wow. Green featuring the two goats, Drizzy Drake. And little motherfucking way. Go I'm gonna pull up. Beat me up, Scotty, right now. Go listen to Fractions. And yeah. say Fractions is a fucking slap. So it is a slap. It's a fucking slap. And, and tomorrow, tomorrow I'm pulling out my um, my YMCMB sweatshirt, the old one with the Birdman logo on it. Like, just for, you know what I'm saying? Just because. But listen. Yo, listen, I have some listen, YMCMB slippers. Listen. I'm in the middle of the street, but I just wanna tell you this. I love you with all my heart. And I'm, I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you glad that you got in your bag for this re-release but you know what time it is now i'm not taking you know i don't i'm not gonna say too much on here but it's that time so um okay. i'll be there this weekend i love you i love you too drake okay bye, bye. thank you bye. Bye. all right you guys bye i love you so much for tuning in god bless you it was a lot more stuff that i wanted to say but we ran out of time but you guys check out the music and let me know how you feel about the music um I'm wishing you guys all the best. Um, was there anything else I needed to say? Uh, not that I can think of. Go check out the music, you guys, and let me know what you think. I love you dearly, okay? Bye. Oh, we got to sing.